Hey guys, what's going on? I know I've been really busy working on my 4th of July stuff and as well as some other projects, but I am letting you know that I did decide to keep my one terabyte T7 Samsung SSD, which has a 1000 gigabyte read and write speed. I'm doing a follow-up video on that. Procrastination is my middle name. And then, of course, we have the Supreme build on the 8 gigabyte EEPROM uh, RetroPie. So that is the 4 gigabyte. This is the 8 gigabyte. Uh, a lot of stuff that I've tested as far as Daphne and everything is working really uh, okay. Um, quick note, though. Most of us image makers and builders will no longer be supporting SD cards. I'll get into that in another video. So, um, I did decide to keep the one terabyte. I was going to return it, but I was like, well, you know, because honestly it was $200, but uh, it was another 20 bucks off, so I got it for 179 I mean, for what I use it for, and I have a 250 and 500 right over there, I really don't use it that much, but it makes compiling images really really simple and really really fast because i could just dump as much stuff on there as possible and get it done so uh, just wanted to give you guys this quick update about what's going on with retro pi some of the images uh, pi 8 a lot of the stuff is still being tested most of the uh, devs do not have an 8 gigabyte model to really do anything with so that's a hold up there as far as having a more robust uh, community that's really fully functional with the eight gigabyte model. So uh, this is uh, something that I'm testing and building my Venom image off of. So no more exceptions, this is gonna be it. I'm glad I really waited, so that way I didn't have to dump out image after image um, with that being said. But a lot of great things to look forward to. I have a ton of updates, um, but I can promise you originally I was against the whole SSD thing and external drive thing. I was like, what's the point? I mean, just go get a nice SD card. It really wouldn't matter, you know. But I can tell you, you will see a performance difference using the SSD with gaming emulation and also transferring games and just productivity over uh, uh, in total. So as you can see there, I'm not using a SD card there. Uh, running right off a of USB 3.0. Uh, the only downfall is, of course, it does use a USB 3.0 slot. But if you do have a hub, that should easily fix that. So just wanted to let you guys know what's going on with me in the RetroPie community. I haven't fallen off or anything, but I have done a lot of testing, a lot of updates, talking to some of the other guys. And then, of course, too, I have my Kronos Zen. Obviously, that works. I got some more tutorials coming up on that. So um, stay tuned, be patient, 4th of July is Saturday, after that I will be hitting it hard once again, because as you guys know, Boom Dai Ken is scheduled to make his appearance come this Saturday. So catch you guys later, subscribe to the channel, uh, thank you guys for being patient, got a lot of good stuff from you, uh, for you. So yes, there is still an arcade only build and a light gun image still coming your way. Um, there may be some games I may be able to add for light gun games. Uh, there were a couple that I know that's never been included in the library because it doesn't run really well. So I want to see if this makes a big difference. But there's a lot of things I can't tell you guys right now that you guys will be excited to hear about coming pretty soon. So stay tuned. Check it out. Catch you guys later. Peace.